Have you ever had a client that wants to embrace their natural gray, but they would love some hair extensions for some volume or even some length? Well, I'm really excited to share with you that Donabella just came out with three brand new custom gray blends in hybrid weft and tapins. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I did a custom blended install, perfect for my client that wants to embrace her natural gray for that seamless blend. And if you're new here, my name is Morel Manelli. I'm a hair educator and salon coach, and I'm super excited to get this video started but before we do make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video now let's go ahead and get started this is my gorgeous client and she is ready to embrace her gray now she doesn't have a crazy amount of gray hair but she does have just enough around her face frame and she just wants a easy seamless journey as she starts to grow this natural hair out now she has experienced some hair loss within the last two years and while she's has really beautiful, gorgeous, healthy hair. She is still lacking some of that density. And part of that just kind of comes with how our hair changes as we age. So I thought adding in just one row of hybrid weft hair extensions would do just the trick. So first we're going to color match her. Now because she doesn't have a bunch of gray, I do need to add in a base shade. So we decided to go in with a brunette color. And then for the gray shade, I tried to match it as close as possible to her front gray areas. Now, because we're only adding in one row and we want to add in fullness, I wanted to also match the length of her hair as close as possible. So an 18 inch weft was the go-to length. And then for the two colors that we decided to go with was color two, which was going to match her base color as close as possible. And then the brand new hybrid weft color 50 medium natural gray and that matched her gray hairs in the front perfectly. Now I'm going to show you a little later once we do the install how I customized this sew in so that way it looked the most natural as possible because there is a little trick to it. So what you see here is I've measured out exactly where this weft is going to live. I like to use my hands a lot, just kind of feel the roundness of the head. And then I use my comb along with the pulling up the hair in comb over trick just to make sure that you're not going to see the point of origin of those hair extensions. And this just kind of helps guide me to the perfect partings and placement necessary so you have a really hidden install. So now that I have all of these really clean sections in place, I love using my hairspray. And the hairspray just basically helps get rid of a lot of those flyaways and keeps them at bay as we do this install. She actually has quite a bit of baby hairs, which made this install a little bit more difficult. One other key player that we're going to be using is the silicone beads in dark brown. So your beads should match your root color. That's super important, just making sure that they do stay hidden. Now, as far as the installation of these silicone beads, like I mentioned, she does have tons of little baby hairs. So taking really clean partings as I work and inserting my beads right at the base is going to be key in making sure that we're not going to have any crosshairs whatsoever. I also like taking wide sections here so that way I can make this bead installation really quick. And I do this by taking about a four inch wide of a section. It's also nice and even on the underside. So there's lots of uniformity that comes with this installation. So that's particularly why I like doing this type of like fast install with the duck bill clip because it does hold all of that excess hair plus it holds all of the hair below it so there's a lots of things that are kind of happening here that help me ensure that I don't have any crosshairs just like this that just happened so I just not need to make sure that I'm keeping an eye on all of those little baby hairs so the installation is as comfortable as possible and then also you don't want to have any type of scalp irritation itch issues that can come with crosshairs getting into beads that they just don't belong in. So if you find that you're still having tons of little baby hairs and frizziness, just use a little bit more hairspray and a couple more clips like I just did here, and this will help the installation of those beads go by seamlessly. Now, if you're new to hair extension, silicone beads are a must when doing a hybrid weft installation. And that's because the only thing living inside of these beads is the actual natural hair itself. So you need something to not only hold it securely, 
but also to avoid any slipping. So that's kind of what the silicone bead does. It helps protect the hair and it also helps it prevent from slipping its way right on down the shaft. Once I have all of my silicone beads installed, we're now ready to measure, cut, and sew in the weft. But first I wanted to show you something. Here are the two colors we're going to be using. So there's that gray weft and that color two weft. And typically I would install it this way if I were doing two colors. However, I'm not going to get the best blend for the type of hair color she already has. So in order for me to achieve that, I needed to sandwich that gray weft in between the color two on both sides. So you're going to see I flip it over and there's a little bit more brown there. So no matter how she moves her hair, whether she's wearing it up or down, we're going to get the best blend possible. So now I'm going to measure out my thread. Now I start out by measuring the width of my weft and then I measure that out an additional eight to 10 times. And I do this because I like to double up my thread. So basically that means I'm looping that thread right on through my needle and having two sides to my thread. And I like doing this because it just ensures more security and longevity of this cotton thread because as she washes it and dries it, the thread is going to expand and contract much like natural hair. So it does mimic it. And in order for me to make sure that it's super secure, this is just an added little step that I like to do to ensure that. Now, one additional tip is you're going to want to make sure that you are always sewing on the right side and the left side of those silicone beads, never right in the center. And the reason for that is because you want this to have a very easy grow out and then also an easy move up appointment when she comes and visits you for the next six weeks. It's also really important that you're sewing down this weft as flat as possible. I feel like that's like the number one complaint that a lot of people will say is that it's feeling bulky or the edges aren't laying down flat enough. So you do want to make sure that you practice this part enough so that way your clients feel comfortable and also they have that longevity for the next six weeks in between, you know, their next appointment. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on down. So we got this full weft installation and now it's time to trim it. So that way it blends in seamlessly with her hair. And I feel like we got a pretty great blend here. She does have naturally a lot of different colors going on, but overall I'm looking at this and it looks pretty great. We don't have to do any color correcting, which is amazing, especially with this gray shade. So I'm just pulling these sections down and because she wants the maximum fullness, I'm barely cutting right below the length of her natural hair on those top layers. And then I take my texturizing shears and just texturize the perimeter so that way it gives the most natural end result and effect. I personally like doing the texturizing shears because naturally nobody's hair is super bulky on the end. So that's just kind of like an added little tip there. You want to mimic as much as possible how people's hair naturally looks without regular blunt haircuts in between because long hair just doesn't look blunt like that. It's super rare that you will find somebody with a super blunt one straight across haircut. Now for the styling, I really like using a texture spray right before doing any curls. And the reason for that is because typically hair extensions are super soft, silky, right out of the package. And a lot of times they feel even and appear healthier and shinier looking than your client's natural hair. So I like to roughen up the texture a little bit by adding that texture spray. And then of course, using this super fat curling iron from T3 to just finish it off. I always like just adding a little something special instead of them styled straight. But of course, if my client wants them straight, we know we got a really great blend to do so. Now here is the final result. Here is her side by side. Look at how much fuller her hair looks, but I really am loving that little pop of gray hair that she's got going on because that's what her hair naturally looks like. She's starting to get that gray hair on her face frame. So it definitely compliments her. She completely just loves it. She's rocking it. It's super cute on her. And here's a little under the hood shot. You can see that gorgeous blend. 
And in this natural indirect light, you can even see those gray hairs right on the underside. So as she gets grayer, we'll be able to choose from two other shades to have a true customized look. And this is exactly why I love hair extensions so much because they can be very transformative in the most major or subtle way possible. Now, as far as cost is concerned, I can't speak for everybody, but what you can expect to pay at my salon is $200 for a one row installation plus the cost of hair. I really hope you love this look as much as I do. Put it in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and comment down below which gray shade you want to try and maybe which one I should try next to learn more about Donabella hair make sure you head on over to their website at donabellahair.com and don't forget to use my special coupon code Morella to save 10% on your next purchase don't forget to give me a follow on my other social channels like Instagram Facebook and TikTok, all under Morella Minnelli if you want free education sent right to your inbox, be sure to head on over to morellaminelli.com and sign up for my newsletter. To learn more about my upcoming education, courses, and all the ways you can work with me, be sure to check out the links down below. And I will see you in the next video.